Well, I'm Becca King Reed. You know, as more and more Bay Area homeowners have trouble paying their mortgages, they're looking for help in modifying or working out their home loans. KTH is working to connect with our viewers the help that they need. And with me is Charlene Kilgore, HUD Programs Coordinator for Project Sentinel. If someone has gotten into trouble with their mortgage through no fault of their own, what are the ways that a lender could offer them to uh, straighten this out? How can they get back on track? Well, um, there are different ways. Um, there are repayment plans. Um, there are forbearance agreements, and most uh, commonly known these days uh, are loan modifications. Now, a repayment plan can address a situation when there was an isolated incident and the homeowner got behind and just needs a little time to catch up, and they typically will make, resume making their normal payment with a maybe a fifth of their delinquency over a period of time. Um, a forbearance agreement is sometimes uh, something that someone who may have another uh, uh, a temporary reduction or suspension of income and it's used to get the homeowner over that situation and it can be a temporary suspension or reduction uh, of the mo monthly mortgage payment. But the loan modification is what uh, is a more permanent uh, fix. It is a change of one or, or more terms of, of the loan uh, in order to make the payment more sustainable. So now with loan modifications, what are the options there? It's not just one kind of thing. There's loan modifications that each lender has in place. And then there's making home affordable, which is the new government um, loan modification program that was announced last uh, February. Mm -hmm. Uh, within those different programs, there's various options such as reducing interest rates and um, extending the loan terms, uh, addressing sometimes in some cases addressing uh, principal forgiveness or principal forbearance as is the case with making home affordable. Um, they will also address the delinquencies and sometimes it's a matter of capitalization or extending the term of the loan to take care of that delinquency. Um, other times it's a matter of, of forgiving the delinquency. So there's a lot of different things. No uh, one lender is doing the same thing. They're all doing different things unless mm -hmm. they're participating in making home affordable and then all of those uh, options are, are being put into place. Who's eligible for the Making Home Affordable program? There are m many banks now participating in Making Home Affordable. You can go, there's uh, several websites that people can go to to see if their lender is participating. Uh, also, if the loan is a Fannie Mae or a Freddie Mac loan, um, they, it, it, it would be eligible for making home affordable. Okay, and how does that program work? How, how is it special? It addresses reducing the interest, uh, extending the term of the loan, sometimes the principal f forbearance, in order to m give the homeowner a sustainable payment going forward. Um, it is all um, budget driven. It's based on debt to income ratios uh, with the goal of uh, uh, getting the debt to income ratio under control to it, basically 31 uh, percent uh, ratio debt to income. Charlene, let's talk a little bit about short sales. Can you tell us what they are and, and are they a good idea? Yes, a lot of homeowners are at a point where they have to decide what is best. A lot of homeowners we see are saying, well, I'm not sure it makes sense for me to keep my home. It's lost a lot of value. I don't know if I really can uh, maintain this payment for the long term. So an option can be a, a short sale. Um, short sale being where, where the loan balance is um, considerably higher than what the market value is. This is something that must be approved by the lender and the first step in doing that is, is finding a, an, a real estate agent who has experience with, with short sales because it's a little bit different than just a normal, normal sale. And that real estate agent is going to be uh, communicating with the lender. Uh, as I said, the required uh, permission of the lender is going to be uh, something that will be required if it's approved at all. And it's also important to say that the per permission period can be quite extended. So it's important to 
pursue this early on uh, if, if it's something the homeowner thinks they want to do. It, the time to, to start it is not halfway through a foreclosure. It's at the first sign of delinquency or, or anticipated delinquency. Now, if you can't negotiate any one of these, should you consider bankruptcy? Only an attorney can advise a, a, a homeowner whether bankruptcy is something that, that they should consider. Um, so we will not, you know, recommend a client to go into bankruptcy because we're not attorneys. Um, this is something that the homeowner needs to evaluate on their own with the uh, advice of an attorney. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks mm -hmm. for your great information, Charlene Kilgore of Project Sentinel. For more information and links to organizations that can help, please go to our website at kth.org.